This podcast is sponsored by Dakota Medical Foundation. Many people feel addicted to their smartphone, but are you aware just how addictive modern technology is? Dakota Medical Foundation will host a summit with Dr. Anna Lemke of Stanford University, best-selling author of Dopamine Nation. She will discuss the science of digital addiction and what it means for you. Tuesday, August 15th at 9 a.m. at the Avalon Event Center in Fargo. Details at dacmed.org. Hello, everyone. Thank you for listening once again to the In Forum Business Beat podcast. We are visited today here at the Forum offices by Alyssa Adams, the Chief Operating Officer for West Acres. Alyssa is fresh off an appearance at TEDx. So, Alyssa, thank you for being here today. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So, tell us a little bit about the TEDx experience. Uh, was that the first time you've ever done anything like that? Yes, definitely the first time I've ever done something like that. Um, it was a whirlwind of an experience and an honor to be able to share the story about West Acres with the community. What is uh, what is the background like on that? How did you how did you kind of get the call, so to speak, to be at TEDx? And what was it like when you first kind of walked out there and saw the crowd? Yeah, so I got a call last November asking if I would be open to sharing about West Acres and kind of talking about malls and some of the things that people may not be familiar with that West Acres is doing. And um. I was given 24 hours to decide if I was going to do it or not, yes or no, and I said yes, would love the opportunity. Um, And so several months later, of course, in July of this year, went on stage and I was able to share about um, West Acres, and um, it was a really amazing experience to be up there on that stage among so many amazing speakers that day. So let's get to the topic of your talk then. Uh, You gave a very interesting presentation on what the mall has been up to and how the mall has survived some of the headwinds in the retail sector. Um, And it kind of centered on one thing that I took away from this, and that was just focusing on a local community culture. Uh, Kind of tell us about that. Give us, I know that the TEDx is probably eight to 10 minutes. Maybe give us a little shorter version of that, but tell, tell us about that. Yeah, so the topic of my talk was community energy, which is something that we hold near and dear at West Acres. It's definitely something that's deeply ingrained in our culture. And a reason why we think we've been able to be successful for 51 years, we just celebrated our birthday in August, on August 2nd. Um, And really the way we look at everything we do is how can we ensure that we're not only making the mall a successful place for our businesses, but truly a place where our community can come, feel welcomed, feel safe, feel that energy that exists within our community. Um, So focus on creativity, art, partnerships, kind of looking beyond just malls from a retail standpoint. And the mall, uh, West Acre specifically, has always nailed some of the local touches, it seems. And personally, we we were just talking about this before we went on here. Uh, It seems to me that a lot of that has to do with the fact that the mall has... uh, a really close local ties to the community, whereas a lot of other malls are owned by a company that's out of state. It's very nebulous. You don't you don't really know who runs it, but that doesn't seem to be the case at West Acres. Yeah, so we have the we're fortunate to be locally owned and operated. Most malls are owned by REITs, so they're they're run kind of from a national level. They don't necessarily have ownership that has boots on the ground within these local communities. You know, of course they have local teams, but it's just not quite the same. And so we have that benefit of truly being in the community, um, getting building those relationships and knowing um, how to bring that into the mall in a really organic way that feels right for our area. And what does your job in all of that look like on a day to day basis? I know I, I, a lot of time I ask people what their job looks like on a day to day basis. They, they say it's never the same. Uh, what, what would you say to that? Uh, what is your role in all of this for the mall? Yeah, so it, I mean, it truly is never the same. I have the pleasure of working with a lot of different teams within our company. So marketing, leasing, operations, and it truly is a, a team effort. So you look at anything that we're doing at the mall, for example, we just opened an artist gallery and that takes, you know, an outside arts organization. It takes um, someone coming in and hanging that show. Our operations team is involved in that. Our marketing team is involved in promoting it. Um, I worked with a company to make sure the space looked right with furniture and, and feels welcoming. And so it truly is always a team effort. And I would say my role is kind of being involved in all those various touch points to make sure things go smoothly. 
So this has sort of been, uh, and I've noticed this personally, it feels like it's really been a newsy year at the mall. It feels like a lot has been going on. We've had a lot of uh, comings and goings, uh, ownership changes, things like that. Uh, Give us a little bit of a recap on what you've seen have been the biggest headlines at the mall this year. Yeah, it definitely has been a very busy year. Um, of course, we had the announcement of Von Maurer, a uh, department store that will be taking the firmer, former Herberger's location. Uh, they just recently took possession of that space, and they will be opening in spring of 2025. So that was a huge announcement. We're one of only a handful of malls in the country that have a new department store um, in the works to be open within a, a space. Uh, so that was big. We also have had some several small store announcements, so things that have been in the works for a long time. Uh, one in particular, Lush has been highly requested from our customers, and we were able to just announce that one. Uh, we have Build a Bear coming to West Acres. We have Love Sack opening. We have another um, current retailer that I can't announce, but is doubling in size um, within the mall. So a lot of fun new things happening. What is the uh, you're 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 giving us a lot of names of places that have not been in Fargo previously. What is the attraction that you're finding when you are kind of scouting and trying to bring businesses into the mall? Uh, and they decide to come to Fargo, they decide to come to West Acres. What seems to be the determining factor there? Yeah, so usually, you know, stores, it's, it's a little bit different for every store. And, uh, you know, I'll be honest, sometimes stores look at Fargo and they're like, why Fargo? Why would we come to Fargo? But the more they learn about our market and truly how unique not only West Acres is, but Fargo, Moorhead, West Fargo in general, they start to become interested. I mean, we live in a very vibrant community and I think it's surprising. We always say that once someone visits Fargo and visits West Acres, it truly, they're like, wow, I get it. Like it, sometimes it takes boots on the ground because there, that is that perception of Fargo being the movie or, you know, very small town Midwest. Um, so it, it takes someone coming here, a site visit, um, and then they very quickly realize and see the vibrancy that is within West Acres. We have a lot of stores that are really high performers. So we talk to them about those results, how our current store is performing, um, just the success of the mall, but really hone in on other things that we're doing and how we have maintained that long-term success. And it isn't just bringing in new stores. You know, it is that community to connect, connection. And we utilize that as a tool as we're attracting stores as well. Von Maurer is sort of the opening that, or the big happening at the mall that I really, that really caught my attention. Um, it's a big, it's a really big space. It's a really big department store at a time when it seems like retail is just totally getting away from that. So uh, tell us specifically about that store. Uh, and what you think they're going to be able to do for them all. Yeah, so one thing that's really unique about about Von Maurer is they're also family owned. So they're locally owned. They're an Iowa based department store. And they're doing, they're one of the only department stores in the country that are expanding right now and they're doing it really well. Um, they are truly focused on the customer experience. Uh, one of the things that they're famous for is they have a, credit card, I think their tagline is our only only interest is you. So they they don't charge interest. Their customer is their focus. Um, but they we've been in touch with them for well over a decade about possibly opening a store at West Acres. And so it's been a long term relationship and really taking the right timing and the right space to make that come to life. Um, and we think that they're going to add a lot of value to our guest experience. They have different um, lines of merchandise that we don't currently carry. The experience within the store is a little bit elevated. And so it's a really nice, clean, well curated experience for guests. Live piano music. They have a lot of crossover with the type of experience that we want to provide. And that portion of the mall was going to be something completely different entirely. It was maybe a year or two back that plans were unveiled for a huge redevelopment there. And that ultimately did not come to pass. But West Acres was able to pivot and move on to something else. Whereas I would imagine a lot of other malls, if they had been completely staked into that, that wouldn't have worked out. Do you feel like that's the fact that you guys were able to move and identify another big development into the mall? Is that kind of a testament to what the mall has been doing over the years? Yeah, I mean, I would say one of the things that we try to do is I always have multiple different plans, plan A, plan B, plan C. And Von Maurer wasn't even plan B. Um, it was, you know, we were pursuing multiple different things at that particular time. And the plan that was announced was something that we were just testing. Um, it wasn't anything that was actually signed or, you know, going to move forward. It was what could this possibly look like? And when we realized that wasn't the best solution for this space, we were very easily able to pivot on to um, working with Von Maurer at that point. 
And another, we're going to, I have a question I want to move away from shopping for a second here. Uh, another piece of interesting news that came out this year that's sort of is tangentially related to the mall. Um, we had nine individuals charged in the theft of the Roger Maris memorabilia, um, which that news totally, at least to me, came out of left field. I never thought we would hear about that case again. Um, Neither did we. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So what was your, what was your reaction then when you heard about that and we got, we got that news? Cause that was, I, I was blown away that we had actually gotten an update on that. Yeah. I mean, we were, we were surprised. I mean, we're, we're happy that it came to an end and there was ultimately a result and there were charges in the case. You know, unfortunately they weren't able to recover the actual piece of memorabilia. So that is a bit bittersweet, um, but it is nice to have the situation resolved for the family. Is there any um, conversation ongoing with either the family or major league baseball or anyone to try to, now that this is that the loop has sort of closed on that to try to come up with like a more permanent display or replicas or anything like that has has that been a topic of conversation yeah that's a good question it hasn't as of yet um but we do stay in touch with the family and so those conversations could come up in the future I, I told you that was that was the one question away from shopping, but again, that was a very interesting news item that came up having to do with the mall. Uh, we'll get back to the retail side of things. Uh, what do you see as the potential for the mall going forward? Because you, I mean, you said it yourself. There's a plan A, plan B, plan C. I'm sure you've got a lot in the works that we don't even know about yet that you're probably not ready to discuss publicly yet. Um, where what do you see as the future potential that the mall has? Yeah, so our main goal long term is to make sure we're maintaining that vibrancy. And so we always want to have a mindset of, you know, trying new things and, you know, that changes along the way, but staying nimble and being able to adjust as the consumer adjusts, as the market adjusts, we can make changes kind of on a fly. And so having a team that's eager to learn and grow and, um, that, that's something we're striving to always have. Um, our industry is changing a little bit. You'll see, you know, maybe stepping away from some traditional retail. There might be more of an infusion in service or food. Um, I think that's something that's happened industry-wide entertainment as well. And so we're always looking for those new categories that can diversify the mix at West Acres. And so those are some changes that may come in the future, but really never losing sight of that customer experience. And so you'll always see us partnering with arts groups, other local businesses, other organizations to bring new, fresh things to the mall. We want things to feel different every time you're there, um, whether it's walking through a Parisian uh, street corner this fall in the mall or um, experiencing a tropical paradise in our fountain. It's uh, We always want something new for guests, too. And that is really what it comes down to for you guys, isn't it, is um, just trying to find that uh, local connection or community connection that really sets you guys apart. Yeah, I mean, it, it's crucial. I think that's what's kept West Acres vibrant throughout the last 51 years is being able to, like I said earlier, look beyond just retail and turning a profit. I mean, those things come if you also are really focused on what does our community need? What do our customers want? And how do we create this vibrant gathering space um, that truly is bigger than just a mall? It's more than just a place where people come to shop. And that was Alyssa Adams here on the Inform Business Beat podcast talking about TEDx. Uh, I hope this was a little easier than TEDx. Yes, much easier. <laughs> well, Alyssa, less, less prep. <laughs> yes, yes, I would imagine so. Alyssa, thank you so much for joining us and being with us today to uh, tell us about what's happening at the mall. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Get three months of local news for just 99 cents a month. You'll get unlimited access to the news you need to stay engaged and connected to your community. Visit inforum.com slash subscribe now to get three months of local news for only 99 cents a month.